Got a single dusty pink rose. Something right about that book, no doubt. Why are you touching that? Is this funny to you? Is, is everything a joke to you? Please leave. I beg you, please leave. Look, <clears throat> you know that dress you're wearing, it reminds me of the first time we met. Oh, the first day you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. I you did too. I, did not. I thought all that Fox stuff was so charming. F O X. But I didn't lie about it. Joe? Just call me Joe? Sure. Like you're one of those 22 year olds that don't have a last name. Hi, I'm Kimberly. Hi, I'm Janice. Don't they know you're supposed to have a last name? It's like an entire generation of cocktail waitresses. Look, I'm not a 22 year old cocktail Ugh, waitress. That's not what I meant. And when I said the thing about the Price Club and the cans of olive oil, that's not what I meant. Oh, you poor, sad, multi millionaire. I feel so sorry for you. So I guess that's not him either, is it? So who is he, I wonder? The world's greatest living expert on Julius Nathan Rosenberg or someone else entirely different? Will you be mean to him too? No, I will not. Because the man who is coming here is kind and he's funny and he has the most wonderful sense of humour. Completely not like you. But he's not here. Well, if he's not here, he has a reason. Because there isn't a cruel or careless bone in his body. Not that I would expect you to understand anybody like that. You with your theme park, multi-level, homogenise the world mochaccino land. You think you're some kind of benefactor, bring books to the masses, but no one will remember you, Joe Fox. And maybe they won't remember me either, but plenty of people remember my mother and they think she was fine, and they think their store was something special. You, you're nothing but a suit. <laughs>